Hi everybody, we're going to complete chapter 13 review. First we'll go to the vocabulary check. Please read all the words with me as I go. Area, composite figure, formula, perimeter, square unit, unit square. All right, let's begin answering the questions one through six. Number one, the distance around the outside of a figure is its blank. So what this question is asking for is the distance all the way around the figure. If you were to start at one end of the figure and go all the way around it and wind up where you began, that is its perimeter. Very good. Number two, a unit square has one blank of area and can be used to measure area. So what we want for this one is what are those little tiles that were in each side of the figure that helped you count the figure? And those were tiny little squares or square unit. So the answer for number two is square unit. Number three, a blank is an equation that shows a relationship between two or more quantities. And what this is, is sort of like when we talked about area, we said area is equal to length times width, and the word for that is a formula. Formula is what we apply to solve that area problem. So number three, the answer is formula. Number four, blank is the number of square units needed to cover a figure without overlapping. And this is also another way to say what is that distance inside of a figure and what is that called? And it is called the area. Number five, a square with a side length of one unit is called what? And the key here is it's a unit and it's a square. So it's a unit square. Very good. Number six, Blank is made up of two or more figures. And this is a couple of pages ago in the chapter. This is where you had a rectangle sort of on top of another rectangle, and you had to divide them up and then calculate the area and then add those two together. Those are called composite figures. Very good. Okay, now let's go to the bottom. It says, Estimate the perimeter of each figure in centimeters, and then measure the figure. So you can take an estimate, just take a look at it, and how many centimeters do you think that is? And now you would actually measure with a ruler, and if you were to do that, the distance between here and here is four centimeters, the distance between here and here is four centimeters, and the bottom is two. So if I add four and four and two, I come up with what? 10, very good, 10 centimeters. Now let's look at the next one. The distance, you can go ahead and make an estimate on that one. And now the distance between here and here, these long ones, those are both four centimeters. And then the distance between this point and this point is two and here is two as well. So we have four and four, two and two, and we need to add up all of those to come up with our perimeter. So if I add four and four and two and two, I come up with 12, very good. Okay, I'll be coming on with another video for the next page, 818. Talk to you soon.